Hello internet, welcome to the channel, my name is Frankie and in today's video we are building a habitat for the meerkats from the brand new Africa pack that has come to console edition of Planet Zoo. What you see right now is my uh, mechanic working out the Africa theme, because of course we need to research that, and then we are diving over to where we are building our meerkat habitat. And this build is going to be based on a small exhibit that you used to be able to get in Zoo Tycoon 2. They were hexagonal, really small, and um, I had one reference image to work from. I was actually challenged to do this by one of the fellow moderators over at the Planet Zoo gaming community on Facebook. I'll drop a link down below if you want to join that group. And yeah, I thought I would try to make that for the meerkat. Now, annoyingly, I lost the footage for the first half of this build, which is really frustrating. Um, Basically what I did was I used various rectangular pieces from the Africa pack, these nice stone pieces, to create a rectangle. It really isn't anything fancy, it's just a little frustrating that I lost that footage. Then I sunk in the railing from the aquatic pack on the top of this to act as well a railing i think it works really nicely it is actually quite a bit taller than what you can see protruding from the rock at the moment but i am really happy with how it looks once you sink it in a little bit it works really well as a railing that you could imagine people kind of leaning on um in terms of actually getting this hexagonal kind of shape correct it's a matter of lining up the corners really if you've got your angles snap on then getting the right angles for each corner isn't too difficult but you just need to make sure that everything's lined up pretty nicely afterwards um as for the internal structure of this habitat it needs to be bigger than I wanted it to be. The reference that I have for Zoo Tycoon 2 is quite small. You have people leaning up on the barriers and it, it really is quite small. The kind of thing you'd expect in the middle of like a tiny roundabout. But I had to make it bigger because the meerkats needed more space. We're in franchise mode so we do need to take our animals feelings into consideration to make sure they have good welfare and won't attract any protesters. So this did have to be a bit larger than I wanted it to be. But I am actually quite happy with how it looks in the end anyway. So what I had tried to do before this, this is me expanding it. It was already a small hexagon with kind of a rough layout for what the habitat could look like inside. And I tried to create a cave to extend the surface area so that there was actually more space for them to run about underground. But due to the limited space, I just couldn't get the angle right. Every time that I tried to create this cave, it was too steep and the animals couldn't get down there. So I ended up just kind of caving, ironically, and uh, just extending this habitat, making it a bit larger. And then that will just give them the necessary uh, room and I don't really have to worry about it. So yeah, what you can see me doing at the moment is extending it. I'm just extending the length of each kind of side by one block. And then I'm then copying and pasting the three sides and moving it into place, lining it up as best as I can to create this hexagon. And then once the main bulk of the shape is actually in place, it's just a matter of making sure that the railings meet up and that the corners of the blocks are perfect. Just a bit of um, adjusting here and there, not too much work, it's just a little bit of uh, finesse, I guess, to make it kind of look perfect. And once I was happy enough with it, I just whacked a null barrier around the perimeter of this habitat and then used a small habitat gate and put it kind of inside the concrete barrier. It is almost invisible. You can't really tell that a zookeeper could actually get in here, which is kind of the effect that I'm after. I think it looks nicer just being this concrete hexagon that things don't really break the edges. They don't really break the perimeter. So this gate being hidden is kind of ideal. Um, but yeah, we're just going to have that kind of hidden in the concrete perimeter of this habitat. Now the reference image that I was using for this habitat did have a stone arch in the middle with some cascading rocks either side of it and it was absolutely packed with plant life. But being meerkats, this habitat isn't going to be as packed with plant life. They are obviously more used to a kind of deserty biome, so they're not going to want loads of lush greenery. So we're going to focus on these stones. We're going to make sure that we've got a nice little archway with a little bit of texture either side by using smaller stones as well to help break it up. And then when it comes to actually doing the plant life, 
life, we're going to keep it really limited. I did play about with using quite a few trees, um, but the coverage just rocketed up a bit too quickly, and I wanted to lean into the dry shrub kind of aesthetic more instead. There are some lovely new plants in this Africa pack, so I definitely suggest you go and check those out. Um, I do use both the new, well, two of the trees that I put in here are brand new, and I really like them. I'll definitely be using them in the future. And at the point of building this habitat, I hadn't done any research on the meerkats because they'd only just been put into my zoo and the vets don't have enough time to properly research the animals. So I ended up just using any of the um, enrichment items that had been unlocked by other animals. And to be honest, I'm actually okay with this. Normally I would like to have all available enrichment items in a habitat but given how small this habitat is already it will start to limit the traversable area even more so just using what was available from the start gets the enrichment to 100% and it leaves the habitat open enough for these animals to actually lead a decent life so that is what I'm going to be doing and whilst I was fully prepared for this habitat to just be covered in sand, it actually turns out that these animals like a bit of soil in their habitat, which I'm kind of grateful for because I didn't mind the look of this, so I actually thought it was quite nice. But then adding that soil in the middle and just starting to kind of add a bit of variation in texture really helped to bring this habitat to life give it a bit more complexity so I'm quite grateful that they needed that. Now I'm going to pop the rest of this video into time lapse for you so that you can see me doing all of the plant work and that includes the inside of this habitat and the outside the surrounding area which does end up getting quite complex in terms of the amount of plant life but I really think that helps to frame this habitat. It works really nicely. I'm also going to use a couple of the new statues from the Africa pack. This pack is wonderful. Just looking through some of the blueprints and the building pieces it really is quite a nice pack and I'm happy that we've got it on console not only for the building pieces but the uh, southern white rhino is one of my top three animals of all time I absolutely love it so we've got to build a habitat for that at some point in the future I'm looking forward to doing that um, so yeah enjoy the rest of this video thank you so much for having watched and please consider subscribing if you're enjoying it and want to see more videos like this in the future and until next time I'll see you later Um... Thank you.